I'm often asked the question, what about the introverted leader? Can an introvert become an intentional connector? Absolutely. Let me just tell you a story about um, two leaders I've met. One is Tony Shea. Tony is the uh, CEO of Zappos, which is now owned by Amazon.com. And I remember when I met with Tony, Tony told me that he's an introvert. He's highly analytical and co connecting with people doesn't come natural to him. So when he founded and, and grew his first company, it became a culture that he didn't enjoy. He no longer felt connected to. He didn't enjoy working. And he eventually decided to sell that company. And then he bought this tiny company that sold shoes over the internet called Zappos. And the first thing that Tony focused on was creating a culture uh, that would, it would be the type of place that he wanted to work in. And that's exactly what he did. He's really made culture a, a huge focus of his so that it's maintained a culture of connection where everyone thrives. The second leader I want to tell you about is Jim Goodnight. And I've spent a little time with Jim. Jim is the founder of SAS Institute, which is the second largest privately held software company in the world, wildly successful. Now, Jim is very introverted. He's, I want to say he's about 6'5". He has this great North Carolinian accent. Um, he was a statistics professor at North Carolina State before he founded the company. And Jim, as a leader, he realized that he needed to connect with the people he was responsible for leading. So here are a couple things he did intentionally. He started going to the SAS Institute cafeteria, sitting down with groups of employees he did not know and just asking them questions about their lives outside of work and the work they were doing at SAS. He became intentional about connecting. Jim also holds what he calls Java with Jim sessions, where basically they serve drinks and coffee and Jim shows up and just tell, talks about whatever's on his mind and answers questions. He's very, he knows it's important to be approachable and accessible so that he can build trust with the people he's responsible for leading. Both of these leaders are very successful. They're both introverted, but they've become intentional about connecting and developing connection cultures that help their organizations thrive.